Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to tell you how to write the programs and how to improve our programming skills because so I am getting a lot of messages in my comment box so regarding this topic that means how to improve the coding skills and we are able to understand the syntaxes but we are unable to write the programs. So how to write the programs and uh, how to improve the coding skills is our concept. Now so before going to that so what is the importance of coding right. So in the earlier days the companies the first process in a company's recruitment is the written test which consists of aptitude and after that there will be a group discussion then technical interview followed by the HR interview. But nowadays it has been changed completely. The first round will be the coding contest. So national level coding contest if you consider some TCS if you consider the TCS so since the last year it was a code vita code vita which is a coding contest and now it is a ninja so again this is also a coding contest here also the uh, students have to solve at least two problems and if you go with the infosys infosys so that is a infinity queue infinity queue so again here also the students have to solve a two or three programs right and coming to the Wipro, so Wipro is also having this coding contest. So Cognizant, Cognizant is also having the coding contest. So not only these companies, almost every company is having the coding contest as a first round. So if you get through these rounds, then only you will be forwarded to the further rounds, right? So that's why we need to concentrate on these coding concepts. Now. So what have to do, what we have to do in order to write the programs or improve our coding skills. So the first, the first point is, so the coding contest will be having the programs as a story narration, right? So I will show you the uh, two sample programs, how the company will ask you the questions, right? So after uh, this explanation, I will show you those two programs. Right. So it will give the story narration and first, first one you have to do is, so don't get panic. Don't get a panic after watching the question or after watching the problem statement because the problem statement will be a story narration. It will be in paragraphs. So even though, so don't get a panic. So what you have to do? So read the problem statement read the problem statement twice or thrice twice or thrice so after reading only one time you didn't you will not get a complete idea right so read the problem statement twice or thrice and then analyze the problem statement Analyze the problem statement and formulate the solution first. Formulate the solution first. Right. So don't open the IDE and don't start typing the programs. So first read the problem statement carefully and take the pen and paper and formulate the solution. That means you need to write a step by step solution. A step by step solution. So usually we call this, this one as an algorithm, algorithm, right? So how to solve this one and then identify the inputs and outputs. What is the input we have to give and what is the output we need, we require? We need to print what is the input and what is the output, right? And then you must be very strong on the syntax. So after completion of all these things, you must be very strong on the syntax. So be strong with the programming syntax. So programming syntax. So whatever the programming language you are choosing, no problem. You have to 
be strong with the programming syntax you have to know where we have to use the concept so in the concept we'll see uh, everything we'll understand the syntaxes and everything but here you have to understand where we are we have to use that particular statements right and so you can select any programming language whatever it may be either java c c++ python whatever it may be so be strong with the programming syntax now you have to convert this algorithm this step by step process by using this programming language you have to use this step by step process by using this programming language implement now start writing the code start writing the code and this is very very important the sixth point is don't give up don't give up so after spending a few uh, minutes or hours of time so don't give up so just keep keep on practicing keep on thinking right so how to solve the problem how to get the solution you just think about that don't give up it may take some time no problem it may take some hours of time no problem and one more solution alternate is you can if required if required if required search solution in internet so in the internet you will you will getting everything right so search the solution in the internet you will, you will be finding a multiple solutions so for every pro problem you will get a multiple solutions you can find multiple solutions right and if required you can search the solution in the internet and you can definitely you will get the solution from the internet but what you have to do means understand understand every instruction understand every instruction of the program so if you are getting the program from the internet if you are getting the program from the internet just understand every instruction from the program so where this instruction is used and in which purpose we are using this instruction everything should be analyzed right if you do that definitely after uh, after doing or after solving a few pro programs definitely uh, the next program can be implemented by your own right for example if you search the solution for uh, five programs definitely at least 20% or 30% of the instructions can be written by you by your own for the sixth program so this is most important you can search the solution from the internet but understand every instruction of the program understand every instruction of the program and one more important thing is identify the constraints identify the constraints so for every program there will be some sort of constraints so what is this constraint for example if there is any program you want to solve you you are you required to solve and you are supposed to give some marks marks for a student so usually the marks can be less than or equal to 0 and sorry greater than or equal to 0 and less than 100 so this is one constraint you need to remember this one so if you are supposed to give the marks and that marks of a students should be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 100 or if you are supposed to enter the age enter the age of a person and this age should be positive should not be a negative okay the age should be a positive it should not be a negative right so anyone doesn't have the age with a negative value so these are nothing but a constraints we need to identify these constraints and we need to uh, consider these constraints while solving the problem right so you have to follow all these things to write the programs and definitely you required some environment to solve these programs right so in internet there are a lot of uh, solutions lot of environments which provides these type of programs so just go through that one so like hacker rank hacker air the geeks for geeks so a lot of uh, w3 resources so there are a lot of uh, uh, websites which which provide you these uh, programs so you just go through that websites and you just keep on practicing these programs by following all these steps definitely you can able to write the program right 
and i this is most important identify the constants because for every program for every program there will be a lot of solutions and you need to give the optimal solution that's the most and most and important so the thing is optimal solution optimal solution so it will be having a lot of solutions any problem can have a lot of solutions but only the optimal solutions will be considered right so optimal solutions means in both the cases with respect to the space complexity as well as the time complexity you need to reduce the execution time and reduce the space right so like that you have to find out the optimal solution so you have to reduce the code you have to reduce the complexity everything you have to reduce and you have to finally you have to give the optimal solution right so follow these things to write the programs so don't simply open your ide and start writing the programs first formulate the solution and then convert this step by step to this programming syntax by using this programming syntax and this is most important be strong with the programming syntax and now how to improve how to improve how to improve so this is how to write the programs okay so i will show you the sample programs with a story narration so the concept will be very simple but the story narration will be in a paragraphs right next how to improve the skills how to improve the skills see this is completely a logical thinking right so writing a program or formulating a solution for a program is completely a logical thinking so you need to improve your logical thinking so right so improve logical and thinking ability or thinking skills so how can we improve our logical and uh, uh, thinking skills right so only one thing that is by more practice by more practice by more practice you will improve your logical and thinking skills you don't get these logical and thinking skills by reading a textbook or surfing in the internet right so just by practice just by practice you can improve your logical and thinking ability and spend more time spend more time in practice so as i have said that there are a lot of uh, 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 environments right platforms which provides this uh, type of programs hacker rank hacker rep so gigs for gigs w3 resources so you can find a lot of programs so spend more time on solving these programs the next one participate so participate in uh, competitive coding programs so conducted by several uh, agencies or in colleges and hackathons different hackathons right so that will definitely improve your logical and thinking skills right so just follow all these things definitely you will be able to write the programs and definitely you will improve your logical and thinking skills so without these things you can't do the programs right and if you concentrate on these things definitely you you will be able to solve the programs and definitely you can crack the the written test or a coding test in all the companies right so i now just i will move on to the system and i will show you the sample programs how the problem statement will be and i will let you know about the complexity of the programs right so let's move on to the system hello friends so just now we have seen how to improve the coding skills and now i'll show you two sample programs so how it look like and uh, the first thing we have discussed just now so don't be panic while seeing the question so just observe the story narration so first uh, read the content once or twice so that the solution will be very simple 
So coming to here, a recently Raj, uh, launched attraction at the Event Square Entertainment Fair is the Carnival of Terror, which is an interactive fun zone featuring scary horror and Halloween stories. The entry ticket for this show is to be printed with a welcome message along with an additional message for children stating they should be accompanied by an adult. Give the age of the person visiting the scary house. The ticket should carry the additional message only for the children whose age is less than 15 years. So the show organizers wanted to your help to accomplish this task. Write a program that will get age as an input and display the appropriate message on the tickets. So once you read out uh, this particular statement, you can know that just the input should be taken at the age. And if the age is less than 15, you have to give a special message on the ticket. So this is the special message. Please note that you should be accompanied by an adult. So you have to print this additional message for the tickets for children whose age is less than 15. So that's the only thing. So if the age is greater than 15, simply display the welcome message. So you can observe the input and output. If the here is a sample input, so 20 given. So this is nothing but an age. So it's a greater than 15, just a welcome message will be printed. And if the age is given as a less than 15, now the additional message, that means welcome message should be printed and including that so uh, the special message should also be printed please note that you should be accompanied by an adult so the input and output is very simple here the program is very simple but the same thing has been narrated with a story so don't get a panic so after watching this program statements so read the statement once or twice definitely you will get a solution the solution will be very simple right so one more example second program total expenses for the event so the prime functionality of the event management system is a budgeting and event management system should estimate the total expenses incurred, incurred by an event and the percentage rate of each of the expenses involved in planning and executing an event so Nikhil the founder of some ABC solutions wanted to include this functionality in his company's event management system and requested your help in writing a program for the same and the program should get the branding expenses travel expenses food expenses and logistic expenses as an input from the user and calculate the total expenses for an event and the percentage rate of each of these expenses. So if you can observe the, the message or the problem statement is too long but the logic is very simple. You need to take the inputs right four inputs. So one is for branding expense, travel expense, food expense, logistic expense and so one, one two, three and a four, four expenses. So finally, you need to calculate the total expense, just an addition, right? And the percentage rate of each expenses. So after getting the total expenses, you can get the percentage of each expense. Also out of uh, total, what percentage is branding expenses, what percentage is travel expenses, and what percentage is food expenses, and what percentage of logistic expenses. So you can see the example, some 20,000, 40,000 for travel, 15,000 for food, and 25,000 for logistics and total expenses are around uh, 1 lakh and here you need to find the percentage of branding expenses out of 1 lakh so that will be 20% and here it is 40%, 15% and 25%. So even though the problem statement is too long, please don't get panicked and just read the statement once or twice and analyze the uh, problem and find out the solution formulate the solution and understand the input and output of these particular programs. So it would be very easy for you. So one thing as we discussed just now, practice, practice, practice. So you need to do a more practice on these kind of programs so that definitely you will be improved in your coding skills. Right. So hope you understood this one. So let's stop here. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.